hello good afternoon and welcome everyone uh, thank you for joining uh, us for today's webinar my name is sunny makija and i am a senior inside sales specialist with crave infotech today we are presenting on inventory management using fiori which will be presented by shrikant nistane with crave infotech he is a digital transformation enthusiast experience in sap digital core enterprise asset management enterprise mobility and cloud platform he has 27 plus years of industry experience helping organization in wide range experience with technology and technological changes for multiple line of business uh, and if you have if you have any questions during the presentations please type them into the q and a uh, box or in the chat section and i will definitely bring them up after the presentation and now without any further ado i will hand over to shrikant to start the presentation over to you shrikant thank you sunny thank you very much and please accept our apology for changing the time today that was last minute and uh, we had to do this for some personal emergency so uh, one more time um, accept our apology thank you for joining and um, i'll make sure that this is worthwhile for your time to go through this session so a little bit about myself this is how i look like in case if we bump into each other i'm i'm working in sap industry for last 27 years and this is how, what i lived and breathed so eam and intelligent warehouse are my two key areas of focus <clears throat> so uh, let's talk about some of the challenges right now uh, especially into the warehousing space is you know sap console tech console out ips mobile these technologies are old they are phasing out windows mobile is phasing out 3G wireless technology is already phased out. Uh, millennials are looking for new and simplified user interface. Customers are looking for mobilizing EAM and supply chain processes. Software solutions are not validated by hardware vendors, and I will talk about that a little bit more. And you have challenges managing multiple vendors, one for software, one for hardware, one for middleware. And we basically can, uh, we, have, we have an uh, uh, opportunity to help you mitigate all these challenges and give you something which is worthwhile. So let's start with our, uh, this is what we call end-to-end -end warehouse ERP solution. So let me start from the top, uh, right bottom. So you might have ECC, right, warehouse management, or you might e even have inventory management and you are still waiting to go to warehouse and that's fine. So it can be inventory manager, warehouse management, it can be embedded EWM, or it can be embedded uh, EWM on HANA Cloud. So any of these situations, right, we can help you uh, in that. So the first step in that will be, and if you see my cursor, will be to barcode enable your um, raw material spares, right? So your warehouse, uh, so it is barcoding your warehouse. So that's racks, bins, and uh, storage racks, and barcoding your parts so that you can reduce all the uh, manual errors if you want to go one step further then there is a rfid right so rfid is where you can basically identify them from a remote location so we will help with rfid enablement then we also help with uh, forklift integration so if there are opportunities to integrate the forklift and make it completely uh, automated we uh, will be able to help you with that in addition to that, we have hands-free picking, voice-activated order picking. Um, so hands-free picking goes by augmented reality using smart glasses. And also uh, being a Zebra partner, we also provide site service and network Wi-Fi assistance. You will not believe we had a large customer and one of their problems when we visited them, we, they said, you know what, our um, signals drop. Uh, the people are not able to work with the devices. The application doesn't work. They thought it's a problem of application or a problem of the device. So we offered them to do one of their site survey. So we had somebody coming in and doing the uh, walking around the whole warehouse in every corner using a small little device that captured the signals. And we found out that they had too many Wi-Fi routers placed and they were all overlapping each other and then mobile couldn't figure out which one is the right one because every at one point where there was an intersection there were 
multiple uh, Wi-Fi APIs with good communication. So it was a simple problem. So they had to remove and realign those Wi-Fi routers and everything worked fine. So we can also help with that. Now, in addition to that, once you are ready with the mobile application, of course, uh, it can be inbound, outbound, cycle counting and internal transfer for storage and operation, transit start docking and in warehouse, distribution warehousing or production warehousing. For all of them, you need an application. And that's where we come into picture. We look at, there are two aspects to this, right? The left-hand side is mobile, um, warehouse mobile application. There are two aspects that one is the functionality and another is the right hardware. So um, we have a metrics which will allow you to find out which hardware is suitable for which use case at which location. Typically, we, we try to nail it down to two so that it can be a tablet or a, and a, a mobile device, RF device, so that you have a choice to pick from the right. Then comes the, develop, uh, the adoption of the mobile application. So Crave has warehouse management mobile application which is basically configurable and can be adapted to your specific need. So that's our end-to-end -end mobile app offering. And this application is built using Fiori. So that's our end-to-end -end, uh, Fiori enablement, end-to-end uh, -end warehouse ERP solution or intelligent warehouse solution using Fiori, RFID, and so forth. Now we'll deep dive a little bit more. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, put them into chat or Q&A, no problem. Sunny, can you hear me? Just want to confirm my yes. audio is all right. Yes. Okay, good, fine. good, okay. So now let's talk about the our mobile application. So our mobile application is built using SAP Fiori technology. And I'm also gonna give you a glimpse of the application. And why, what's the major simplification? It's flexible. So flexible modeling of warehouse processes, built-in optimization, high performance execution, best in class. It's definitely, and you will see that, connected, it's real time, insight and network communication, next generation automation and enhanced device integration. Not only that, we have an ability to enable offline. So let's say you have a large yard and there is no uh, Wi-Fi connectivity available, consistent connectivity available our application will also work offline so that they don't lose the connectivity. And finally, the integration. It has out of the box integration with ECC and S4 HANA. For all the processes, whether it's a raw material, it's a, a MRO spares or finished goods uh, or work in process goods, you have that those cases. And this is the next, what I was discussing about. So inbound processes, storage and operation, uh, outbound processes, production warehousing, distribution warehousing, and transit cross docking warehousing. We have a solution for all of them. And another good part is because this is Fiori, the same application works on all the form factors. Not only that, it also works on all the devices, different iOS devices. So it can be Android, it can be iOS, or it can be even your Windows and desktop. The same application will work everywhere. So what is the solution roadmap? So we have all of this already done and ready to go, and there are a few things in the pipeline. So what are our future innovations? So of course, functionality is there, the integration is there, the deployment is there, right? And then now we are working on next generation automation and robotic process automation in warehousing. So we also do RPA, forklift routing inside the warehousing in using indoor mapping. So we have forklift integration is there, but we can also enhance using indoor map mapping, hands-free picking, voice activated and augmented reality. So those items are being enhanced into the same application. Warehouse crisis management on Precedented pressure from COVID-19 disruption. We all know, right? So logistics and supply chain is the most impacted area because of the pandemic. Warehouse is now one of the most critical part of the business. I don't have to tell you guys that. Uh, warehouse operatives being recognized as key workers. Warehouse are more busier than ever. Shopper rush uh, to stock up 
because of the pandemic and whereas using technology to get improve efficiency and productivity to meet customer expectations and have future operations so how how this mobile application uh, helps right so new recruits in warehouse you don't have to do a huge knowledge transfer because the knowledge is already built into the mobile application they need to just follow operative self isolation existing staff go to person like shift supervisor or pick leader become unwell and need to isolate so using our management system take care of decision making by structure process as i mentioned backup by technology lowering the impact on business due to absence of key person and same thing is the long term cost cuts so we uh, our research indicates that um, we basically bring to the table up to 80% total cost of ownership saving compared to doing it without the application and this is the glimpse of one of our so we have several templates and this one is a template and and uh, if, when you look at this you can change the color based upon your theme your organization theme so that's out of the box and then these are the uh, transactions which are already available in this particular template so put away supply return uh, printing the qr um, uh, scanning printing reprinting and whenever you do printing and reprinting it keeps track of everything so you have a uh, log available which we'll see into the next screen and and very simplified screen well guided uh, so that um, so that each screen has the information so that they don't have to scroll that's number 1 and it's a guided uh, information capture so he doesn't the person doesn't make any mistakes and everything is validated and uh, the the design is done in such a way that basically that user can scan every thing which is required on the screen including the quantity if you have barcode for quantity so quantity will be the only place where he will have to enter manually either it's a pick or scan so this is one of our success story it's a large pharma life sciences organization where uh, they were looking looking for uh, mro spares automation and uh, uh, 20 up to 20000 spares each plant and there are total 12 plants in the first wave uh, they went live successfully and uh, uh, working very well and helped them to realize their benefits and plant business uh, values so this is a screenshot of uh, how you can get the track and trace report in the back end about how many labels are printed and where they are printed and why they are printed so they can satisfy your regulatory requirements too um i think we have discussed a little bit about this before so i will uh, uh, skip this one uh, we talked about that um of course we have rfid capabilities uh, companies realize that manual scanning of barcodes of large volume of items become bottleneck so uh, we have several use cases where use cases ranging from theft uh, so you want to install rfid use rfid if somebody is taking Uh, spare for parts or raw material or anything sometimes you can have small small parts which cost a lot of money and people can just put it in packet and walk away uh, and we can restrict that using rfid to it can sound alarm it can send email it can send messaging everything can be possible second is if you have large warehouse or small warehouse with small small part and you don't know where it is kept rfid uh, as you are walking with the rfid reader it will it will beep and the beep will increase sound will increase as you go closer to the parts so that is another use case and if you want to go even further and more sophisticated then we can show you where that rfid is if we in, uh, install the active rfid so uh, there are two ways our application helps one is simplification of ui as you guys all know uh, you probably you have seen this green screen black screen blue screen and now you have this fury screen which gives you complete control uh, for the new and improved user interface from the simplification of architecture perspective our application so if you have sap console 
tech console, web console, they all have middleware. All these middleware add uh, one level, latency, complexity of the architecture, and also uh, maintenance. Uh, that all goes away with Crave Fiori. ITS Mobile reduces the middleware to certain extent, but ITS Mobile only works with certain form factor and certain devices, while the Crave Fiori application works with all the devices, all form factor without any manual change, and it's easy to use. The business processes can be simplified to the nth level. So that's how this application looks like. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna bring in, uh, let me show you how our application looks like. So this is our uh, application for screen, right? Printing, uh, these are the, so it can, so this is one workflow how it is designed, but we can change the workflow based upon your need. And I'm gonna show you how, how the same application will look like on different form factors. This is how it will look like on a mobile phone, right? And so let's print one uh, large, and you can have your choice, what kind of uh, size of the label, and this will configure for your need. And then uh, I can select the quantity, right? I can preview them, how it will look like. So this is how, so you will have your own design, how it will look like into the print, and then I can print it, okay? And once I print, it will be basically available for me to put away. Right? So this is how very simple uh, way the process works. Um, and the same application will look like this if it is a tablet. And same application will look like this if it is on a desktop. So you don't have to use another code, another application, everything is covered into here. I'm gonna show, so that's one of our templates, right? We have few templates which helps to I'm gonna give you a glimpse of our launchpad. This is our Fiori launchpad. Every tab uh, tile here represents different application. So uh, this is the application I have just now demonstrated. This is another, I hope uh, I have access to this now, hopefully. Yeah, this is another uh, template. So it, these tiles can are also configurable and they are part of the authorization. So whoever is authorized to that tile, he can see that tile. So you can even control who can see which tiles uh, within your uh, uh, organization. So only certain people can do goods receipt or goods issue. They will only see those tiles available that time. Go back. Uh, okay, let's see. And this is the core application where we have inbound, outbound, physical inventory, and internal transfer. Um, we have goods receipt, goods reversal. So there are multiple templates available uh, which can be adapted based upon your specific need with purchase order, without purchase order, with reservation, and then we can follow through them. Every field is scannable. Hope that gives you an idea about what the application looks like. So this was the example of the MRO spares. Uh, one thing I do want to talk to you is, I hope I have a slide somewhere. I hope I, no, I don't. Uh, so how it is differentiated uh, from other vendors? So we are Zebra's um, premier partner, okay? So what does that mean? Uh, we work very closely with them and all of our applications are validated by them. That means they are tested for memory leak. They are tested for, uh, um, they are tested for the integration. They are tested for user interface. They are tested for battery usage. It's very important. These devices are out and you don't want application which is gonna consume battery. So when our application goes onto device, it's ready to go. Whether it's a Zebra, it's a Panasonic, or it's a Samsung, or even iOS, there is nothing to worry. So the device, the application knows how to use the keyboard, how to use the access the camera, how to access the uh, RF scanner. All of that is well defined and optimized so that application works effectively. So that's one key part uh, you need to understand. In addition to that, of course, uh, we eliminate all integration layers. 
what we use is standard sap uh, framework so you are not dependent on us there are a lot of vendors and partners available who add their own layer their platform which binds you because if you don't pay them amc you cannot use the application you're done um, so that is not the case with us we use standard sap framework you can make the changes afterwards if needed and it's integrated directly with sap so a little bit about finally about us what we are passionate about uh, we bring four things together sap intelligent enterprise our pre packaged solution zebra mobile computing technology and jio enablement from here we also do sap cloud platform where needed about a little bit about crave infodeck we are a 13 year old company uh, we pride to be leader in the mobility solutions um, we have three key partners with sap cell build and service we are a zebra pmm isv and reseller here a technology isv and reseller and we have a global presence the north america is headquartered in new jersey and physical presence in rest of the other areas we are supported by a very strong offshore um, uh, setup in india that helps us to optimize our cost while keeping the quality at the same level uh, this is the list of our customers so uh, utilities oil and gas um, energy um, petrochemical retail companies like siemens high tech like comsco pharma life sciences uh, healthcare and public sector this is the sample list of our customers again we are sap partner zebra partner amazon web service partner google partner and here technology partner so um, few more minutes so we just looked at warehouse but this is the list of all of our applications so that includes enterprise asset management so maintenance calibration we have similar application for them in supply chain we have warehouse which was our focus today we have direct store delivery we have vendor connect we also have truck loading we have uh, uh, digitization of the forms like log books so end of the sheet during the shift all of that we can uh, digitize them a lot of dashboard order to cash um, approvals connected assets and also uh, human capital so we have basically application theory applications uh, for almost every department you can imagine all the applications in eam supply chain and also in production life cycle management they work offline so you don't need to have connectivity where needed so with that uh, um, i will um, open up for questions I mean, if you look at um, next steps we basically you can reach out to us this is my email address and that's the number our uh, common number uh, and sunny is on the call sunny is always available uh, unfortunately sunny's number is not there but you uh, sorry email address but you can also reach uh, reach out to us at contact at craveinfotech.com and where we add value is basically if you can bring us your challenges uh, we have a, a complimentary evaluation one thing i missed here is we are working with a lot of corporations now because they don't know where they are into the warehouse maturity curve so working with zebra we have created a value for warehouse maturity curve whereby we can identify it is divided into five phases whereby we can identify where your organization is on the maturity curve and we can help you to identify how you can progress into that maturity curve uh just give me one second let me see if i can bring the maturity curve diagram so why don't we open up for uh, sunny let's open up for questions if there are any questions yes, comments definitely i'll definitely unmute everyone as well allow them to talk and they can unmute and uh, ask the questions they have that will be great yeah i have just uh, allow everyone to talk please unmute yourself and if you have any questions please do ask
So this is the diagram I want to. So this is the maturity curve diagram. So there are five phases to it. So this helps you to understand improve operations, connect workers. Typically, uh, most of the organization is between two and three. Uh, very few in phase four and five. And that's where we help to identify where your organization is and how you can move and graduate to the next phase of this maturity model. Okay, I think uh, with, with no questions, that was great. Thank you very much. Once again, sincere apology for changing the time at the last minute, but uh, feel free to reach out to us and see how we can help you to make your warehouse intelligent. Anything else, Sunny? Mm, I think we are done. Thank you everyone for joining today's webinar and uh, have a great day ahead. Thank you.